Hmm, wonder what I could get with a dollar. No, too much. No, that's too much too. Maybe, but probably not. A record album? I can get a record album for a dollar? What? Hey everybody, it's Mama J. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, I have some record albums that I purchased for $1 each. Now, I have already run all of these record albums through the record friend for the cleaning, and I also put them all inside plastic sleeves already. But prior to that, each one was a dollar. So, they're all in a box. We're gonna randomly pull out some and see what I got for a dollar. Okay, so let's go right there. Everything, one dollar each. Hey everybody, I'm back with some more records that I got for a dollar. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. It's part of that first lot. Remember I bought quite a bit, I showed you the box. So I'm gonna pull 10 more and show you again what I got. Can't beat it, right? Let's go. Let's go. All right, if I could get one out. And first one. So, <laughs> you've seen this one in the first video. And you're seeing this one in this video. But it is two different albums. I accidentally grabbed two. I thought it was such a good deal for the one dollar that um, I grabbed a second one. Again, just the gold cover. What I will do is I will go through and I will obviously pick the one that has the best. And just to show that there are two. So if you're looking for a Jefferson Starship, let me know. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the second one. And the second one is Barry Manilow Live. Now you heard me say before that the last concert I went to before COVID hit was Barry Manilow. I took my father. Uh, piano, he's got a nice little letter there. It's the back with some photos. Let's see, did we get lyrics? We did not. So we just have a song list. And then a picture of Barry right there. Now you know what's funny is I have this insert in a different Barry Manilow album. So I don't know if maybe like the person that I got the other album from put the insert in the wrong one. But I'll have to double check that. So again, it was pretty awesome to add this. Alright, I want a peek. And we got, oh, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Partners, brothers, and friends. This is pretty cool. This album looks like, I mean, it was in pretty good shape, so. Let's see. And no lyrics, but we did get some photos of the band. And then a little picture on that side. But as always, take a look. Very nice, very shiny. Thanks to my record friend. <laughs> All right, let's pick another one. All right, so who did we get? Oh, we got Blood, Sweat, and Tears. It's pretty awesome. Pretty big band when you see all the people right there. It's like nine people, right? Three, six, yeah, nine people. There's the inside. Oh, with all of them again. Leave the two over here with the... The girls are their daughters. It's a nine person band. That's why there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And it's just pictures of that. So that's pretty cool. This just has info about different stuff on the back. 
So actually, I'm just looking at this. And this right here says, here's how records give you more of what you want. It says, they're your best entertainment buy. Records give you top quality for less money. They allow selectivity of songs and tracks because you know you can pick the needle up and relocate it. They're convenient and easy to handle, pretty much. They're attractive, informative, and easy to store. That is true because they're very thin and the covers, like you know, the artwork on some of these uh, album covers is pretty amazing. They'll give you hours of continuous and uninterrupted listening pleasure. That is true. They're the proven medium. Long plain phonograph records look the same now as when they were introduced in 1948, but there's a world of difference. If it's in recorded form, you know it will be available on records. They make great gifts. And remember, it always happens first on record. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I was able to add this one. All right, next one. Oh, we're Living Newton John. This is, oh yeah, totally hot. I actually know for a fact I had this album. This was one of the ones I ended up came up missing. This does have the lyrics. It also has Olivia on this side with some more lyrics. So really cool album. Really happy to add this to my collection. I've always loved Olivia, but also because I'm a huge Grease fan. All right, next one. Oh, Cat Stevens, Greatest Hits. Now this, for example, is one that I might not have purchased um, if it wasn't a dollar. <laughs> but it was a dollar. Let's see, did we get lyrics? We did not get lyrics, and that paper is pretty, pretty old. You can tell, so I'm pretty sure this album is pretty old. But look at that. Look at that. Again, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's pick another one. Okay, this is number seven, and this is Jimmy Buffett, a white sports coat. It's pretty cool. And look, Jimmy didn't hide nothing. He put them lyrics right there on the back of the album cover. So you yeah, knew you were getting the lyrics. And the inside was just, oh, well, accidentally, carefully, but you can see how nice the album looks, right? It just has a regular cover, but that wasn't quite in the cover. There we go. So that's pretty awesome. All right, let's go on for number eight. Oh, Elvis, Golden Records. So this is Elvis. There we go. Volume one, volume two, greatest hits, side one, side two. Pretty awesome. Let's see. Did we get lyrics? We did not. We got the list. It's like um, other albums that are available by the artist. So we got Spin Out, Harem Scarum. These are all Elvis movies. Great movies. Kissing Cousins, one of my favorite movies. Girls, 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 Frankie and Johnny. I love that movie. My other one was Viva Las Vegas. All right, so I love being able to add that one to my collection. All right, let's go for the next one. Number nine. Oh, Kenny Rogers and Dottie West. Look at that, still in the plastic that it came in, which was really good. Here's the back. Right. Let's see, did we score lyrics? We did not. Just white paper. But that's all right. Still a really cool album. Happy to add this one to the collection. So, and as I will show you randomly, look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. There's a little bit of a fingerprint right there. Probably from me. All right, so number 10, let's see. 
Oh, Country Queens. This one is um, Hits Made Famous by Country Queens. It's Patsy Klein and Kitty Wells. So it says Faye Tucker sings Hits Made Famous by Patsy Klein. Dolly Parton sings Hits Made Famous by Kitty Wells. So that's pretty awesome. Real happy to add this one to my collection. And it is just white paper. But a beautiful album. So that's pretty cool. Little Blossom, Two Little Orphans, Release Me, Letter to Heaven, Bill Bailey, I Fall to Pieces, Crazy, Walking After Midnight, all great songs. So I was really happy to add this one to the collection. So again, 10 albums, 10 albums, $10. We got Country Queens, we got Kenny Rogers and Dottie West, Elvis, The Golden Records, Jimmy Buffett, A White Sports Coat, Cat Stevens, Greatest Hits, Olivia Newton-John, Totally Hot, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Barry Manilow Live, and Jefferson Starship Gold. So, what do you think of these albums? Do you have any of these albums? Do any of these artists trigger a memory for you? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Hit the like button and stick around and check out my Patreons at the end. Thank you again and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!